Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, o Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We are just going to listen to, um, or just listen to the lyrics. We can't actually hear the song, so we'll just watch the lyrics. <laughs> Okay. No, it's not playing at all, so we'll just move to the next slide. Okay. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil, will guard him. Give him life, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name is forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend. If my foes do not shout in triumph over me, if you uphold me, I shall be unharmed and set in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in times of distress. So we shall not fear through the earth should rock. Though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though it is its waters range and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in turmoil, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come consider the works of the Lord, the redoubled deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shield, shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. 
supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgment have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, Amen. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. Oh, I'll do the short reading. Uh, reading from the Rome, to the, a letter to the Romans. We who are strong have a duty to put up with the calms of the weak without thinking of ourselves. Each of us should think of his neighbors and help them to become stronger Christians. Christ did not think of himself. The words of scripture apply to him. The insults of those who insult you fall on me. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. He has made us a line of kings, priests to, to see God. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ loved us and, and, and has, has washed, washed away our sins with his blood. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew 25, 31 to 40. Jesus said to his disciples, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, escorted by all the angels, then he will take his seat on his throne of glory. All the nations will be assembled before him and he will separate men one from another as the shepherd separates sheep from goats. He will place the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, come you whom my father has blessed, take for your heritage the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you made me welcome. Naked and you clothed me. Sick and you visited me. In prison and you came to see me. Then the virtuous will say to him in reply, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you a drink? When did we see you a stranger and make you welcome, naked and clothe you, sick or in prison and go to see you? And the king will answer, I tell you solemnly, in so far as you did this 
to one of the least of these brothers of mine. You did it to me. Next, he will say to those on his left hand, go away from me with your curse upon you to the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you never gave me food. I was thirsty and you never gave me anything to drink. I was a stranger and you never made me welcome. Naked and you never clothed me. Sick and in prison and you never visited me. <clears throat> then it will be their turn to ask, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, a stranger or naked, sick or in prison, and did not come to your help? Then he will answer, I tell you solemnly, in so far as you neglected to do this to one of the least of these, you neglected to do it to me and they will go away to eternal punishment and the virtuous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So we'll take a few moments like we normally do. I'll go back to the start of the Gospel and then we'll have our reflection. So we will now start our gospel reflection. Sometimes it's hard to do that looking after the least of the little ones because I remember one time there was a couple out the back of the church and they had a shopping basket and something else and, and, and obviously homeless. And I asked my son to come in from Cranbourne and go down the street and buy some food. Um, and we, my, I ate my food and they apparently tipped it in the bin. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the best thing is you, you gave it a try anyway, Pat. <laughs> Well, I did it, and that, what happens to it after you do it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think for, for me, I think it uh, <clears throat> is a good confirmation that uh, our, our life's not just in vain. There's, uh, during our life, we've still got uh, a role to play, and uh, and by fulfilling our role, it's, um, it's, uh, it, it won't be neglected. And, uh, it, it will uh, provide some guidance uh, as to uh, how we spend the rest of uh, eternity. So it's a, it's a it's a good positive if we feel like we're we're alone in what we're doing. This gospel tells us that we we have to go forth and start helping out 
people, especially those in need. And eventually we will be re rewarded. As uh, the Lord says, once we, once he comes back and he be separate, we'll be able to I think this uh, gospel clearly shows that every one of us has to be vigilant. We have to be prepared and willing to do our role as a Christian. If we are going to be too engrossed in ourselves, we will miss all that this gospel says is happening. And in the end, we will hear the same that was told to the people on the left. So unless we are on the lookout to see how we could practice our faith by helping the needy, etc., etc., it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. That is what this tells me. If we just go about doing our own thing, we will miss out all the others. And that is not what is expected of us as a Christian, I think. Yeah, I just want to add here to that. I think this gospel is a gospel of, again, love and charity. Uh, Again, not judging people when we see a stranger, sometimes we, we sort of think, oh, that person might be addict, an addict or something like that. But uh, we should never judge that person when they ask for money. You know, sometimes they ask for two dollars or something. You, you have a sort of tendency to think, oh, you know, should I give it to him or not? But it's not our place to judge a person. We should always help anybody that needs our help. Which it, again, that's what, what what it's saying to me. Yeah. yeah this gospel uh, is telling me that Matthew presents Jesus as a judge, but the reality is not that's the point. But the point is, it's a call for service. As we, as the disciples of God of of, of Jesus. We are called to serve one another. As Jesus mentioned clearly that I tell you solemnly, in so far as you neglect to do this to one of the least of these brothers, you neglected to do it to me. That, that, that means here, when we're living in the world, there's the things that we can do to each other, to help each other. There's a weak people. We, as the disciples of Jesus, we can help them to grow stronger. There's a people in need. We can help them to find what, what they need or, or, or what they lack. This is our role in this world. This way, Jesus saying, if we do this, the time he, he returned, then he will see who did it, what he asked him to do for him, not for them. Then in that case, you'll find yourself either you are on your left or on your right. you the one choose for yourself, but not, not doing or doing it. That's the time when Jesus is coming to separate. Yeah, this is what I can say, this gospel. is calling us to serve one another. If I may come in now. To, to me, what it says is that um, as Christians, we, we are called on to do what we have to do for our fellow human beings. Sometimes we think that just attending Sunday Mass, doing a rosary, doing our novenas, and uh, praying constantly makes us perfect Christians. But my understanding is that the Lord expects us to go out and do more. It's all well and good to do 
your regular praying and attending mass, uh, etc. But you also need to be um, the kind of person that the Lord wants you to be out there helping your neighbor, doing what you can. And I think it also relates to last Sunday's gospel where um, when the master gave those talents to his three servants, he expected them to put them to good use. Uh, and two of them did, one didn't. So I think this is like an extension of that message that we are called on to go out and do. Thank you, Sister Sarah. Thank you. And if, if someone's got a, a bit of advice for us here, um, it appears if um, when, uh, when, uh, when, when God's um, sorting us out from the left and the right, uh, what happens to those who need to go to purgatory? Do, do they sort of get stuck in the middle or are they, uh, are they on the right-hand side? Uh, anyone got any ideas? I think they will be on the right-hand side. They just don't go as fast. Yeah. I can yes. come in here a bit. I've got a bit of an idea here. Uh, normally, when people uh, pass this wall, we all believe that they're going somewhere. And uh, some of us, they say the, the goes to heaven is straight. And as I mentioned, purgatory here. This is why we are asked to pray for those who pass so that they can pass that, uh, so that they can wait there. With our prayers, we can help them to go ahead to heaven. That's why purgatory is there, that those who are there in connection with us in the spirit, by our mm -hmm. prayers, we, we can help them to pass on because they cannot do anything for themselves at, at, at that particular moment when they're waiting. They're waiting for us to pray for them. Mm. Uh, that's the point here, yeah. if I'm a bit yeah. right. Yeah, and that's when we do, we offer all the Holy Mass, especially in the month of November. The thing is that with God, it's no time. So we think of like purgatory being maybe 50 years, 100 years, 3,000 years or whatever, but that's not so with God. And when the, the body and the soul are separated, Maybe with the soul, purgatory might be five minutes or something of of total yeah. realization and agony. But we just don't know about the timing sort of thing. We just has to keep in praying without ceasing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so we'll move on then to the next part. Yeah. The Lord has come to help us, his servants. He has remembered his mercy. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He put forth his arm in strength and scattered the proud hearted. He cast the mighty from their thrones and raised the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and never shall be world without end. Amen. Amen. The Lord has come to help us, his servants. He has remembered his mercy. Carmel. God is our loving Father who cares for us and knows all our needs. With confidence we pray. Father, may we find rest in your love. 
Christ your son suffered and died for the church. Be with all Christians who are suffering tonight. Father, may we find rest in your love. Bring to the sick your comfort and healing. Strengthen them through the victory of Calvary. Father, may we find rest in your love. Be near to us, almighty Father, for you alone can save us from the evils that threaten us. Father, may we find rest in your love. Strengthen us in the hour of death. Let us know your peace. Father, may we find rest in your love. Bring the deed in, into your light. Comfort them and your presence. Father, may we find rest in your love. Hail Mary, full of grace. No, Juma, Juma has to do the parish intentions. Yeah, the, the, the parish intentions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Blessed are the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy oh, Mary. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, we offer up all the prayers and intentions of our parish of St. Mary's to you. We bring before you our parish community, especially the leaders of our parish, we ask that you continue to bless us and keep us close as a community, especially now as more and more numbers will be welcome in the church. Lord, take care of the sick and have mercy on those who have died recently. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever, Amen. 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 Father Brandon is not there? No, he hasn't. He hasn't come. So Juma okay. can do the final blessing. Uh, let's, let's go for the final blessing. Lord God, teach us the lessons of your son's passion. And so enable us, your people, to bear the yoke he makes light. He makes light for us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and range with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us all and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, George. Father George, uh, Father George.